My answer will come in three points, in, th in three parts. Firstly, forget Greece for just one second. If the Eurozone collapses, we are all going to be embroiled in a postmodern 1930s. If the Eurozone crashes and burns, I mean, I pers personally campaigned against the Euro in the 1990s, but we, fi we, we, we created it. So there are irreversibilities. If we give up the Euro, we are not going to back to where we would have been if we didn't have it. It's, so it's one thing to say we shouldn't have it, it's quite another to say we should get out of it, right? And if the Euro, the way that it was constructed, and the way that financialization proceeded during the golden age, the, the, those eight years, pretty good years of the Euro, and then crashed and burned and all that after that, the, with that history behind us, if now the Euro goes, we're going to have a massive depression in Germany and stagflation in the rest of Europe. The global economy will not be able to take that shock. China is going to go into reverse. Brazil is going to see all the improvements in poverty rates and so on go to smithereens. And therefore, the global economy is going to be detrimentally affected if the Eurozone goes. That's from an internationalist perspective. Now, from, let me speak from a Greek perspective. What we have done, as a, what the Greek state has done, what the successive three different governments have done since the, the, the debt crisis, the debt exploded in, in early 2010, was a, a, a crime against humanity. So I don't defend the fact that we stayed in the euro following the prescriptions that were coming to us by Brussels and, and Frankfurt and so on. My proposal was that Greece should simply announce that it is defaulting, just like Argentina did, within the euro in January 2010, and stick the finger to Germany and say, well, you can now solve this problem by yourself, right? Why am I not, why was I not su supporting the idea that should, we should make an announcement that we are returning to the drachma? In other words, why am I buying half of the Argentinian strategy, but not the other half? Yes to the default, no to creating our own currency. Well, because Argentina had the peso. It had a currency that it could devalue. It had a peg, one to one between the peso and the US dollar, but it had the peso. Argentinians had the peso in their pockets. They had, the, the banks were stuffed with pesos. The ATMs would give you pesos. And it was simply a matter of saying, well, from now on, we we'll devalue it. But when you don't have a currency, you can't devalue it. All you can do is you can announce that, you know, in eight months, we are going to have a currency, which, by the way, we're going to devalue. Now, this, can you imagine a, 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 a preemptive announcement of a devaluation eight months before it happens? This is a recipe. It's a recipe for having all wealth liquidated and leave the country. Unless then, of course, we have armed guards at the borders to stop people from bring, bring, taking their money out. But that would mean that we have to get out of the European Union. And don't forget that Greece doesn't have something else that Argentina had. Argentina, at the moment... Of, when it was defaulting and sticking the finger to the IMF, which I really applaud them for and I love them for it, okay? Uh, they had large tracts of land capable of producing millions of tons of soya beans that China wanted to buy at that moment. Greece doesn't have anything of the sort. So if we, given that we didn't have a ready-made export market and we didn't have a currency to devalue, it would be suicidal to get out of the drachma. Uh, into the, what we should do is should create circumstances, plan B. We should start the process of thinking of creating a, 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 a currency in case we need it, for, not just because we may choose to leave the, the, the euro, but because the euro may not exist after a while, if Germany leaves. <laughs> because that is more likely for me, as far as I'm concerned, that Germany would depart from the euro. Okay? Now, just to finish off, um, <clears throat> I don't have a dogmatic position on whether one should leave the euro or not. For me, it's a question of cost and benefits of human suffering. It's very simple. Cyprus, this is what I'm going to go next week to Nicosia to argue, should get out of the euro today. Because they're already out of the euro. They've already suffered the cost of exiting. They have capital controls, they have a destroyed banking system. Why have the Troika visits as well on top of that? But Greece has not had that yet. So. 
I think that from an internationalist and a Greek perspective and a European perspective, the most effective radical policy would be for a Greek government to rise up, or a Greek prime minister or minister of finance, to rise up in ECOFIN, in the Eurogroup, wherever, and say, folks, we are defaulting. We shall not be repaying next May the six billion that supposedly owe, we owe the European Central Bank. My God, you know, to have a destroyed economy which is borrowing from the European stability mechanism to pay it to the European Central Bank is not just idiotic, but it's uh, the epitome of misanthropy. Say no to that. But why step out? Put them in, fr in front of their contradictions. Make them face the contradictions of the Eurozone themselves. Because the moment the Greek Prime Minister declares default within the Eurozone, all hell will break loose. And either they will have to introduce those shock absorbers, or the Euro will die anyway. And then we can go to the drug. Uh, 